I had the great opportunity to test out the Mini Crane M13 from iFootage. It's featured as portable, lightweight and easy to set up. So we took it to the test and made a short video of someone's passion for woodcrafting. We only had about two hours of shooting time planned, so we had to be very prepared, but also bring a minimum of gear with us. I wanted to travel with all the gear that I was going to use, so I took an LED light with me that could run off a battery, my tripod, the Panasonic GH4 with several lenses, and of course the M13 Mini Crane. I started with assembling the Mini Crane on the tripod. The M13 is designed to work with a 75mm ball. I love that ID because that means I could use my awesome Sackler hat on the crane itself, but we'll get into that later. Another thing that came to my mind is that you don't need any tools to set it up. Everything can be assembled with your hands. The bowl also has a spirit level and it's important you level this right for the balance of the mini crane. Once that was in place I decided to extend the back pole and add counterweights to it. You get two buckles to keep your weights into place, so I was able to use custom weights I bought at a local fitness store, but you can get also a counterweight from iFootage as well. It comes with different types of plates and one of them is an additional low profile quick release which I'm going to start with for the first shot. I decided to attach it upside down, which will allow my camera to sit on the ground. And then I had to adjust the counterweight to balance the mini crane. There are number marks on the rear section for you if you would like to remember the setup and be faster the next time. Everything was set up pretty fast and so we could start with the first shot. I decided to pull a very gentle lift while Desiree was opening his garage. A misconception about mini cranes is that you want to pull it very high and make large movements, but the big advantage of mini cranes is that you actually can make very gentle movements in any direction. For the next shot we moved inside where I decided to switch to my Sackler hat which attaches to the included 75mm plate. iFootage uses standard quick release plates. I was able to mount my camera with their camera plate into my Sackler tripod hat. The same goes with Manfrotto plates. Now this setup was starting to get pretty heavy as I needed much counterweight to balance the mini crane, but that wasn't the problem for the M13 as the extension arm has a rectangular design which can handle a lot more weight than a round arm. And even though a sturdier crane seems heavier, this crane is made out of carbon fiber which is a very strong but lightweight material. I was able to put up the mini crane and move it to different standpoints very easy. This mini crane also comes with several features like focus shooting which I had to try out. By default the tilt hat will always keep itself straight, but with this simple knob we can adjust that in 9 different levels. I set it to the maximum which allowed my camera to tilt around the subject for me. Another great feature is the trimming tilt. When doing a top shot or if you want to frame the tilt axis, you don't have to fool around with the extension arms. You can just easily turn on this knowing sleeve to put your frame right in place. After this shoot I not only learned a lot more about the iFootage mini crane, but also just mini cranes in general. So if you're familiar with our channel, then you know we also have 5 creative tricks with a mini crane. Click in the card up there to see that video. But before you do so, let's have a look at the end result of our Woodcrafter first. If you wish to learn more about this product then follow the cards up there or you can also find a link in the description. The 5 mini crane tricks can also be found here on my left. Thank you again very much for watching and stay creative!